Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel. I had planned to do a live on Saturday but this is not going to work out. I just found out my work schedule is going to be horrendous for the next few days. And so I just wanted to do a process video for you. I'm going to be using the April 2020 Sheet Love Card Sketch. I'm only going to be doing one piece instead of two and I'm not angling anything. I am using the wreaths that I showed you on the embellishments video. And I've already cut my pieces. I'm using this set from Hello Fall from Echo Park. I have a solid set and I have a print and that's going to go on the card base itself, the card mat, and I'm going to be stamping directly on the pattern paper here. I'm going to be using my Kraft 100 pound cardstock for the card bases. Just regular portrait style. A2 cards. And believe it or not, I'm not putting a timer on today. I'm going to enjoy the process of making four cards from start to finish. I pulled out two stamps. From different sets. Autumn Blessings is going to go on the front. This piece here. And then in the inside, I'm going to be using this. Ask, Seek, Knock. Matthew 7-7. Seven, seven. This is from Mimi Made It Kit. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to stamp the inside of the cards first using my early espresso from Stampin' Up. Let me grab an acrylic block and we will put I'm donating a lot to my church now. And so I just put them in a basket and they can pick up whatever they want. And if they want to donate something, then I just give it back to the church. Okay. Oh. Okay, we can fix that. We'll make this the front of the card and we'll cover it anyway. Where they say, well, there's a way. And if this still doesn't turn out, I'll just put an insert in it. Let's hope for the best. There. Oh, now we've got a spot because I got ink on my finger. We can cover that up with a sticker because I have a whole sheet full. So there we go. Okay, there's one.
two. All right, so the inside is stamped. I, I will be putting some decorative stuff in the inside also. Let's see. Uh, we have, let's do, I'm gonna do my little pumpkin in orange here. Oh, let's just stick with stickers. <laughs> we'll do stickers afterwards. Okay, Autumn Blessings. Put that on the front here. There's an open spot on each piece. That worked out really well. I'm not going to try to stamp it after I put this piece on. No, I'll just I'll just kind of estimate how it's going to look and where I need to stamp. Okay. Cute. If I mess up, I have plenty of paper. Okay. Kind of eyeball it there. glad I decided uh, to do this instead. Seeing as I just found out that my work week got a little more complicated, that happens sometimes. Okay, pretty. There's gonna be anyway. Okay, now let's get our matting, which is a, a, it doesn't match exactly the early espresso, but it's pretty close. I bought it, um, I forgot the name of the company, but they have a lot of uh, good cardstock. I don't, I know I have bought from cutcardstock.com before also. So let's get out our snail runner. And put this on. I love the fall papers. You just can't go wrong. Either side. Okay, I don't I don't like a lot of extra around. About an eighth of an inch or so, depending.
Okay, so those are matted. Good deal. Now let's do the bigger piece, the five and a quarter by four piece. I chose this all over leaf pattern. In the original sketch, uh, Alicia had it all the way to the, you know, covered the entire card. Whoops, covered the entire card, but I do like to have a little bit show. So I did cut it five and a quarter by four. She always says, make it your own. So we do. I do. Okay, let's get that. There we go. This is assembly line fashion. This is how I make my sheet load of cards every month. And I we do a little bit at a time, 10 minutes. I set my timer. And I do assembly line style. Now, of course, you know, if you're making bulk cards, of course, this is the way to go. But you always want to reserve time to make special cards for your family and your close friends, especially for Christmas, Thanksgiving. Okay, now because we messed this up, I'm going to be putting it on here, and you will never know that there was a mistake there. Okay, all right, let's put the fronts on. Then we'll put the reeds on last. Okay. Simple, but elegant at the same time, I think. going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on here and get this done because we're just going to be using glue from here out anyway. I will put another runner replacement later. Okay, now it is time to get started on, let's just use a piece of paper. I can find one. Yep. Let's just use a scrap piece of paper so we don't make too much of a mess. Okay. I'm not going to bother trying to pop this up because it's too thin. It would show right through. There are several ways to do this. You can dot it on like I am, or let me see if I can find. I know this is filthy, but you can also take a sponge and daub some on a piece of paper and just daub that up and then daub around. Usually I do that. Okay. 
one. Whoops. Well, okay. Probably have to put a something on that to hold it hold it down like that. Okay. the front part getting sticky so I'm gonna do this okay there we go number two One more, and then we'll be done. I'm, I guess I'm just so used to these. I've been doing the 10-minute series almost as long as Alicia's been doing the sheet load. I kind of picked up, got the idea right away. So I want to thank Alicia. If you're watching from the bottom of my heart for giving me the idea all right and there we have it oh I did not do the stickers yet <laughs> okay there's the outside of the card now let's decorate the inside okay we've got so many wonderful stickers to choose from I don't want anything too awful big it just depends if you have stickers and you know you're going to be using them, then that might uh, give you direction as to what size of sentiment to use in the inside. So let's put a little pumpkin here. And let's do, do we have any flower? No. Nope. How about that? Okay. We don't want to overdo the inside because, um, you know, the outside is supposed to be the star here. But yeah, let's just put something little in the corner. There we go. Okay, now we're going to have to put something there because I've got my inky fingers all over. So let's put apples. Yum. Love apples. And let's put something down in the corner. little pumpkin all right there we have our cards oh one more let's see let's put this at the bottom how cool is that oh no that's too big nope we don't want anything too big Okay, go with the pumpkin theme here. There, all right. 
One, two, three, four cards made with embellishments from embellishments on the 11th. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.